Good to go. Hello, everyone, and welcome to MTAG More Than a Games post uh, uh, pre IPL team reviews. And today we are discussing the Chennai Super Kings. So, all you Whistle Poru fans, get ready because we are uh, we're going to hit your hit your town right now with uh, uh, with our preview. So, uh, and joining joining me today, we have Ruthik Dave and Rahul, uh, both uh, both avid cricket fans. So, thank uh, thank you so much. Guys, for joining in, and uh, I think let's just uh, immediately get down uh, straight into our discussion today. And also to the, all the all the viewers joining in, we will be uh, entertaining all your uh, questions and opinions as well. Uh, so please feel free to express whatever thoughts you have, uh, and we will be taking uh, taking it on board and answering it to our uh, answering it during our discussion. So uh, thank you, uh, thank you, Rutik, thank you, Raul, and let's start off. Uh, first up, uh, Chennai Super Kings had a complete car crash of a campaign last season. I mean, they really did not uh, do uh, a lot, especially in the first half. And uh, for the first time in their history, in fact, they crashed out. Uh, they did not make the playoff. And uh, I think with uh, ten game, uh, after 10 games, they were already out, uh, down for the count. So, uh, and uh, they only got some of their mojo back towards the last, uh, last three, uh, three, four games where uh, they had... Uh, when they were able to get uh, get some uh, performances from the youngsters like Ruturaj Gaikwad and all, so uh, what do you think? What was the issue last last year for them? They also had some key personnel missing. So, wh uh, what are your opinions on uh, what what was wrong with Chennai, uh, Ruthik? I think the morale was already uh, very low from the beginning itself because uh, I think there were uh, multiple COVID cases before the season began, and then. Uh, uh, so they Sarna actually made it to UAE for practices, but then left midway for uh, we don't know what the reason actually is. And you know the camp was I don't think there was a lot of positivity in that camp, and that showed in their gameplay. I, uh, you're, you're right, uh, Rahul. What do you think? I mean, where does where did CSK go uh, so wrong last season that they looked uh, completely out of south sorts? I mean, one of I think um, Raina's uh, departure left a big hole he's obviously been a big part of their batting since uh, since the start so to lose him uh just a week or so before the season was a big loss i mean they also lost harbhajan and for any franchise losing these two key experienced players would be um uh, would have a big impact but especially for csk who are built around uh you know, experienced players so i think that probably had an impact because they didn't really replace these guys. So, you know, they, they went with what they had. And ultimately, yeah, I think the quality was, was, not, was not enough. Uh, I think you guys, uh, uh, Rahul, you hit the point there. And uh, coming to the release of uh, the releases, they made a few big ticket releases. I mean, Shane Watson obviously retired, but there was uh, also... Uh, uh, we have also got a question from Surya Sesha, uh, and he's uh, put it quite uh, quite well over here. Rigidity in plans and remaining adamant to making changes uh, in tactics or selections. What caused them last year? And I think he's uh, kind of given given us uh, the answer to what was so wrong with CSK. Uh, so uh, coming to the releases, they made a few big ticket releases. I mean, they let go of Shane Watson, obviously, who retired. Uh, Harbhajan Singh uh, was released. They let go of Piyush Chavla. They let go of Piyush Chawla, which was frankly a slightly odd, uh, slight, a pretty odd purchase for them at six point, uh, at a very high 6.75 crores. They let go of a few of the other, uh, a few other players as well. Murli Vijay was let go of, uh, and uh, they traded in Robin Utapal uh, from the Rajasthan Royals. Uh, so, uh, what did you make of their releases and the trade of Robin Utapal into CSK? Is it? Uh, is there some sort of a strategy behind it, or is it basically to uh, welcome uh, to try and maintain that over thirty uh, the over thirty age, age club that they have over there? I mean, uh, no no offenses meant to any CSK supporter. Rahul, um, yeah, I mean, on if you look at it from the outside, yeah, it does seem like that. But um, I think Uttapa's uh, form in um, in the fifty over. Domestic and even in the Syed Mustaq shows that you know he can he can do the job and it probably gives them some flexibility if you know he opens then um CSK don't have to play Fab to play C's and you know they can have an extra overseas all rounder which ultimately you know gives would give Dhoni an, an extra bowling option. Um so yeah, I think it gives them 
you know, that more experienced batsmen, because aside from, aside from um, Utapa, the other Indian batsmen are already students, like the more experienced guys. So I think Utapa is a shrewd purchase and, you know, it, it may seem that he was past it, but especially last season, you know, he struggled. But, um, you know, his recent form shows that, you know, there is still something that he can provide. Uh, I think I think right, and uh, uh, I mean with uh, Robin Utapa, I think uh, uh, his uh, he's a proven customer in the IPL. He's been a former Perp Orange Cap winner. He's won an IPL before as well, in fact. So, uh, uh, Ruthik, what do you think? How much how much of a uh, uh, boost would it be for uh, Chennai Super Kings, and how uh, how much flexibility will it add to uh, to their plans for the season? Definitely, they have a they have a top order vacancy now with Shane Watson gone. Pav Duplessis is a flexible player who you can play anywhere. And now they have also got uh, two batting stars in uh, Ruthraj Raikovat who actually proved his worth in the last uh, four or, I don't know, three games of the last season. So, they have a nice uh, vacancy and they have a nice, uh, you know, uh, they have some good uh, opportunists for that uh, for that spot. With Robin Utsampa coming in, he uh, I, I'm not sure he'll make the starting 11 for CSK with Chetisha Pujara also in that squad. And Suresh Raina already securing his number three, obviously. So, I think there is good competition for uh, the opening slot with Thappa and, uh, and Rutharaj Gaikwad in. Uh, I think right. And, a... uh, yes, yes, Ruthik. I said it's only going yes. to be a positive net for ML Tony. Yes. Uh, Suraj Shesha, once again, uh, j- jumping in. Rob- Rutharaj and Robin, youth and experience, touch and flamboyance, Indian opening pair should be the ideal combination despite fact fa- being there. I think, uh, I think we've answered it quite uh, well over here as well. I mean, it'll be more uh, 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 flexible. It'll give them a lot more flexibility in uh, in their uh, tactics. So, let's go into their auction. They just had uh, they, they had 22.9 crores uh, in their bank and they had just one uh, overseas uh, player uh, 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 slot to fill in. So, what do you think? I mean, uh, and that's one slot was filled in by a certain Mohi, uh, uh, England all-rounder called Mohin Ali. Uh, who uh, who came for seven uh, for a pretty hefty seven crores in fact. So what do you think? I mean, uh, how does this uh, how, uh, what does uh, this uh, signing of Mohin Ali uh, do for CSK? Ruthik. Uh, now they let go of Harbhajan and Sikh and Piyush Shawla. Adding someone like Mohin Ali gives them someone who can also give you four nice overs and can uh, carry the team if uh, wickets fall down. So, I have seen this pattern of CSK where they don't go for people who are not reliable. They 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 always want somebody who can, you know, in times of crisis, can alone manage all the, you know, all the proceedings of the game. Mohin Ali gives CSK oh. that option. Uh, absolutely. And uh, Rahul, I think uh, his base price was two crores. He hit five sixes in that Chennai test and uh, each six just added a crore onto his uh, base price. Uh, what do you think? Uh, how much uh, does the signing of Moin Ali uh, boost Chennai Super Kings now? I think yeah, it gives them um, that extra flexibility. The thing with Moin at RCB was that um, he was not being used. He was not being used right, um, especially his batting. You know, it was not really utilized to, um, you know, not he's not really being allowed to, you know, go after in the middle overs. So. I'm sure you know CSK have a plan, and I think it just gives them that additional depth um, in the middle. Maybe you know the fact that they're not playing seven games in Chennai is a slight. Um, I mean, it's it's not something they could have planned for, but uh, yes. you know before before the news came out, maybe that is their idea. You know, to go in with uh, another spin bowling all rounder. But either ways, I think it's a good it's a good purchase and. If, they use his batting right, especially CSK can be quite dangerous. Uh, I think right in uh, Suresh Sesha once again, uh, he's quite enthusiastic. Been quite enthusiastic uh, in in the early goings here. He said Moin's big plus is his ability to attack spin in the middle overs, which uh, and uh, an area where CSK had struggled massively last season. In fact, so I think he should be able to make the eleven. Uh, and we will come down to discussing about the uh, playing 11. They also uh, spent a, a more than hefty 9.25 crores on Krishnapa Gautam, uh, which uh, uh, makes him the most uh, expensive uh, uncapped Indian player in IPL auction history. So, uh, what do you think? I mean, uh, he's he has 
proven his credentials in the domestic level, uh, but his last couple of IPL seasons have not gone well as per plan. And uh, so, what do you think? I mean, how how big uh, with this? Uh, uh, how mu- how much does this Krishnappa Gautam uh, signing now weigh on uh, CSK? And does he make? Uh, what does he add for CSK? Uh, Rao? Yeah, it, it was a bit of a, a bit of a strange. I mean, again, you know, if they they're probably planning to pack the team with spinners at Chipok, and if it didn't work out, and you know, I didn't I didn't realize, I I totally forgot that he went for such a big prize. You know, when I was uh, making my playing eleven. Yeah, I'm not I'm not sure if. I mean, it depends to see, but I'm not sure if he would get a game because um, they already have. Um, a few other spinning options, so you have to wait and see. But you know, if they want to have that additional um, spinner who can, you know, bat a bit at the end, then he may be, you know, one of those wild card options. Uh, Ruthik, what do you think? I mean, with uh, Krishnapa Gautam uh, ad- being added into the team and uh, his uh, recent form ha- uh, in the IPL has really not been up to up to scratch. Uh, w- w- how much of a uh, impact will he be able to make in CSK, which is already such a spin-heavy side? I'm really not sure about Krishnapa Gautam because uh, first of all. Uh, he hasn't really had a, a good start, uh, a, a good season in domestic as well in 2020. Uh, so in 2021, and uh, even when it comes to IPL, after 2018, he had his wonderful season in 2018 where he won games on his own. He showed his potential, and I think that potential is uh, what uh, uh, what has bagged the seat for him in CSK for the 9.25 crores. He he is a person who has played well for India A, so maybe that is where uh, his worth actually comes from. But uh, I'm really not sure where they can put him in the in the eleven, and uh, but yeah, you don't you don't spend nine point two five crores on somebody you don't want to play uh, in in the eleven. It uh, will be uh, a You're right. I think uh, Krishna Bhagwatam has uh, in previous auctions too gone for uh, pretty hefty price tags. He's uh, fetched uh, big price tags from a Mumbai Indians before in 2017. Rajasthan, of course, paid him a. Paid a big bomb to sign him up in twenty in the big mega auction in twenty eighteen. So uh, he's. Uh, uh, I think they wanted a domestic backup uh, alternative to maybe a Mohin Ali and somebody who could effectively replace Harbhajan as a as a second Indian spinner in the side. And I think uh, Gautam's uh, addition might just able be able to help that. Uh, and uh, amongst the other purchases they made, they signed up. Uh, young talents like uh, Sihari Shankar Reddy, uh, Sihari Nishant, uh, Nishant, who had a very, very good uh, Sayed Mushtaq Ali trophy for Tamil Nadu, forming a very potent opening combination with uh, his good friend and uh, fellow CSK mate uh, and Jagdi San, uh, as well as signing up K. Bhagat Torma. Uh, and of course, probably the biggest surprise of them all, the one that actually drew more than uh, a few rounds of applause inside the auction room, Cheteshwar Pujara. How surprised were you with the signing of Cheteshwar Pujara in CSK? And is there a rationale behind it? Uh, Rutek, what do you think? I was uh, I, I was not surprised with CSK bottom. I was surprised that any team actually uh, went for him. But it's not that I did not want that to happen. But yeah, I was actually surprised that... Uh, CSK, despite having uh, players who, who are not known for their strike rates, uh, they went for him. And, you know, that was really something that even even everyone smiled and I was one of those faces. So, <laughs> I don't know what to say about it but uh, uh, in, in the game context, but I hope he does well this season. Uh, I think you're right. I mean, uh, Rahul, what do you think? I mean, uh, Cheteshwar Pujara, once again back in the IPL, after... After all the years he spent in IPL wilderness, spending all the time, uh, spending quite a lot of time uh, playing county cricket uh, in recent times. What do you think? I mean, uh, does what does he add to CSK's side? He's, I mean, I really can't see him playing much, you know, if at all this season. But I guess, um, I guess you know, it just adds that more experience. I don't mean CSK not lie for. Lacking any experience, but um, I suppose it's a it's, it's it's a nice move for him. And I mean, all the fans were very happy that someone took him, and I think he deserves it as well. Um, but yeah, I mean, I don't I don't see him playing. 
And even if he does, you know, if he comes in at like a number four, um, what what will he provide? You know, CSK have from you know the middle order, low middle order. They have a lot of guys who can get going from earlier. So I really don't think Pujara gets much game time unless you know someone like Raina or Raido gets uh, you know injured or they need to be rested. Uh, I think you're right. I mean, uh, also, uh, uh, also they've uh, 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 just today in the morning we've uh, we heard of the news that uh, Josh Hazelwood has in fact pulled out of the IPL uh, due to uh, uh, bio bubble fatigue, and I think it's a uh, pretty sad thing. And uh, in fact, we've got a question from uh, our good friend Shivayan Chakraborty. Uh, he's asking Pujara as an opener. Interesting, oh, yeah, interesting, yeah. interesting option. Uh, Rotek, what do you think? He has opened before for uh, Kings XI Punjab and uh, RCB. But mm-hmm. uh, he is a different batsman in 2021. That was, I think, five or six years ago. So I'm not saying it's a bad idea, but there are uh, other people who are more special, specialized than, specialized for the job. Uh, Rahul, what do you think? Pujara as an opener, I mean, uh, does it make sense? I mean, it, a few years ago, yes, but... I, I don't I don't I don't think um I mean Pujara does he probably has you know he has he has like a T20 100 and he can probably bat faster than most people give credit to him for but he's not played a T20 in 2 years he's not played a 50 over game in 3 years um mm. if, would he would he be up to you know opening um you know from early on when it's not like they're lacking options they have Utapa and they have Gaikwad who really should be playing all the games and Fab to play as well. So it's a really uh, it's a really you know emergency. If only like they're lacking anybody, then they should turn to Pujara. Uh you're right. I think it's it's quite a point that you've made. And uh, we head head down to uh, the injury withdrawal of Josh Hazelwood and uh, how much it dents uh, CSK considering they just uh, they don't seem to have a lot of uh, quality pacers in their o- o- OCs lineup. Uh, they they'll not have Lungi and Gidi at least for the first uh, couple of uh, first game or so because uh, because he will be flying in only around fifth or uh, around fifth because of his uh, uh, commit national commitments. Uh, how much of a, a blow does the uh, withdrawal of Hazelwood make to CSK, uh, Rahul? Um, yeah, I was pretty amused uh, that I was half expecting him to withdraw. Um. I mean, partly because he'll have to be boring to Pujara uh, much more than that. <laughs> but um, jokes aside, yeah, I mean, from his point of view, I'm not surprised that um, the Australians backed out, um, like even a few others, you know, Mitch Marsh, Josh Filippi. Um, mm. From their point of view, it must not be uh, nice, you know, to be coming to a bubble and, you know, getting benched. You know, these so-called um, premier Australian test cricketers Mm. Getting benched, but from a CSK point of view, um, yeah, I think it is a uh, um, it's made them lose one option. Um, however, the silver lining, if it is, is that they have um, Hardis Viljoen um, as a support bowler, so they already mm. have him uh, with them. Uh, yes, and that's where I think Pratyush has also chipped in, uh, Viljoen as a replacement because apparently he's uh, probably. Uh, joining up, uh, linking up now as a official member of the squad. So, uh, how, uh, what do you think about it? So, I mean, if he's if he's there, then I guess it's an option. His IPL record isn't that great. And he had played, uh, I think, one season in Punjab, but uh, didn't yes. really didn't really do much. So, um, I mean, I'm sure some CSK fans were expecting a more more exciting replacement, maybe a batsman, you know, Glenn Phillips. Um, someone mentioned Alex Hales. Devin Conway. Uh, yeah, uh, we uh, we got an Alex Hales mention from Atal Kumar Mora uh, as a Hazelwood replacement. I mean, trying to basically do what uh, uh, SRH did with Marsh. So yeah. But I, uh, I think ex- expecting CSK to make a exciting replacement is is asking for a lot. Um, mm. You can take it whichever way you want, but I don't I don't really think CSK would you know go for. That's a big. They probably have their plans in place, so I don't, I don't, I don't really think they'd be optimistic and go for a Glenn Phillips kind of player. 
Yes, because uh, because uh, Rishik, Rishikesh Amin in his uh, comments also said uh, uh, pin Allen in uh, CSK thoughts, but I think uh, he's I think, uh, he's 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 been, he's been signed up by RCB. So Rishikesh, I think uh, I think you uh, might want to just uh, uh, have a refer back uh, to the uh, to the replacement news over there. So he uh, Finn Allen is of course joined. RCB as uh, Josh Philippi's replacement and Ruthie coming to you they uh, with the hardest value in replacement uh, apparently uh, in the works and uh, Surya Sesha again he's uh, chipped in with uh, the young uh, Afghan seamer Fazal Huk Fazal Huk uh, Faruqi who is a young tier away quick from Afghanistan and he uh, and is part of the CSK bubble as a net bowler so uh, what do you think I mean is it a what Worthwhile chance from taking a punt on him because uh, he apparently is uh, a, a really he's a tear away. He bowls at the 140. He regularly cranks up the pace at the 140 mark. So uh, do you think uh, it's in CSK's uh, uh, nature to uh, probably give the uh, an unknown uh, unknown entity like a, a Faruqi or maybe a shot at becoming a replacement or do they stick with the hardest will win? I don't think that's a very CSK thing to do to uh, just bring a newcomer out of the blue and play him in the IPL. Uh, CSK, I mean, if I was CSK, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't even be looking at Hardis Williams because uh, he has had two seasons with the Kings XI Punjab and he hasn't really uh, made impactful performances. I mean, I'm not saying he hasn't done anything. He has, he has uh, given them a few wickets in the middle, but. Uh, but he hasn't been impactful enough to replace someone like Josh Hazelwood, who at 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 the one KD pitch would have given them some nice four overs, including the power play. So yes. uh, I would I would suggest that they would just opt for somebody uh, from the unsold category. Uh, uh, I think uh, with the quarantine regulations, it might be it might be difficult, and uh, considering the quality they have, that. Uh, it's uh they probably might just take the punt on a Villuan and might not be playing him all games. Uh, that's where Suri Sesha again uh, uh, pops in. Uh, he says it's certainly not in CSK's nature to take that punt, but they just don't have any mystery element in this in their side now. Knowing them, they won't take the chance even if they if, if they should. Uh, okay, and uh, a very uh, very pointed uh, question coming in from Kaushik Kashyap. Uh, he's is, is suggesting how come uh, Sachin and Dravid played so well in the IPL uh, till the, around the age of 40, but last year we saw Dhoni losing his touch with the bat uh, last season. So is it due to a lack of cricket or uh, or does uh, does a particular technique help you last longer? Because Dhoni, we all know what how Dhoni bats uh, has a very different approach to his batting. So. Do you think Dhoni as a batsman is losing his touch, uh, and uh, maybe is it time for him to maybe consider other, uh, uh, whether he is able to contribute enough to CSK side, uh, Rahul? Um, no, that that is a good question. It uh, certainly makes you think. Um, I would think maybe um the fact that I mean Sachin and David did play, um more IPL in, you know, the early, early stages when, you know, the tournament itself wasn't as advanced, um, you know, English cricketers didn't really, weren't really playing. Um, T20 also was still, was still in its, in its infancy as a worldwide phenomenon. So, um, if we compare, you know, Dhoni's, Dhoni's um, getting towards the end of his career when, you know, now T20 has really advanced as a format. So maybe that's one reason. Those, they, both of them also, you know, top out a batsman. So, um, I don't think, you know, I don't think David really played. You know, he was not really he used to play this an anchor role for RCB, if I remember yes. right. And Tenetkar also was somewhat similar for Mumbai. You know, used to open. He has a hundred, I think, I remember. Um, and with Dhoni, um, you know, maybe a lack of game time um, in between. Um, you know, during the pan um, pandemic, you don't know how it affected him. Um, so yeah, those are, you know, he, he's not really playing much cricket except in the IPL now. So it's really tough to gauge whether it's just poor form or, um, you know, decline or, you know, maybe just his approach, approach is flawed and he needs to adapt it a bit more, you know, not take everything to the last few overs. 
uh, you've got a point there, uh, Rahul and Ruthik. Uh, coming to you, I think uh, that's like uh, a good friend of ours, Crick Vidya, has also chipped in. T20s has evolved a lot. It was more closer to ODIs then. What do you think? I mean, is the Dhoni uh, is Dhoni uh, able to contribute as much? To this team as he should, because otherwise, if he's not able to contribute with the bat, uh, does he may uh, does he hold a place in the team? Because I mean, despite his uh, captaincy news uh, and his uh, keeping being still quicksilver, does he add anything with the bat right now? Or uh, are CSK batting with uh, already coming in with one man shot in their batting lineup? Well, 2020, I don't think was the season to you know judge uh, what he's going to do in 2021 because he came after uh, spending five or six months in his home in quarantine. So Sachin and Dravid at 40 never had to do that. Sachin was still True. playing for Mumbai and Ranji and all. MS Dhoni did not get a chance to do that since 2019 July. So uh, it's it's not fair to go that hard on him. I am not a I am not a diehard Dhoni fan, but uh, you have to consider that. Uh, he went through five or six years of uh, for five or six months of quarantine, where Olympians had uh, decided to not go uh, to not pursue the Olympics anymore because they lost five or six months of training. So we can't really just uh, you know say that uh, Dhoni cannot do any, uh, cannot bat uh, like that anymore because of that one bad season. Uh, I think uh, uh, Vidya once again uh, has chipped in with a very interesting uh, observation. Should Dhoni bat it for and leave the finishing job to Jadeja, Samkar and Moin Ali? I mean, I, I would think that, you know, this would be more flexible with the, with the Sam Curran, you know, send him, send him as a floater in like particular um, situations, which they did do. Not enough last season, but if I remember right, a couple of games when they did send him up and, you know, he had a quick cameo, which really changed the, um, you know, the complexion of the game. Giving him that impetus in the middle overs, which um, CSK lacked. So either way, you know, if Dhoni thinks he can, um, he can do the finishing job, then I mean, we can't really uh, judge him right now. But this should certainly make more than that. This should make use of the other guys they have. You know, Moin, Karan, Jareja. I think if even though, even if two of them perform in a game, or even one. That really sets the platform for them. Ruthik, what do you think? I mean, is Dhoni batting it for a good option? Because I think uh, Crick Vidya has uh, done that, uh, uh, has actually been able to give us uh, give us quite a head scratcher over here. Dhoni batting at four and uh, putting uh, Jadeja, Sam Karan, Moin Ali in, uh, as their three, uh, as the people who, who will finish the innings off. Well, we don't even know if uh, Moin and uh, Sam Karan will. Uh play together in most of the games. But yeah, Dhoni at 4 is not something that uh, looks quite out of the world. Dhoni at 4 was what everyone wanted since 2015 World Cup, after the World mm -hmm. Cup ended. And exactly. even he got promoted, uh, uh, he promoted himself at number 4 in that 2015 uh, South Africa ODI series where he actually uh, scored quite a lot of runs with responsibility. Uh, just that he did not have anybody at 6 to finish the game for him, which is why he again went back to uh, that, uh, that 6 spot. So, I don't mind uh, watching MS Dhoni at 4 in 2021 with uh, the young guys uh, getting to do the hammering at the bottom. Uh, uh, but uh, I think that's right. I mean, but with a 5-6-7 uh, uh, of uh, Jadeja, Karan and uh, Moin Ali, doesn't leave them, uh, ha make it uh, three left-handers too many you know, at a place and where... Uh, uh, teams which are smart with their uh, with their data and all, with, uh, which play the matchup very well, like a Mumbai or or someone using an off spinner to uh, stifle them, uh, to immediately tie those uh, people uh, their uh, lower order hitters up, uh, or uh, where does the, uh, how does it leave them uh, in that position? Because uh, Surya Sesha once again, where, wherever Dhoni needs bat, needs to bat freely. There's a flexibility in the side on in the side of him. It allows him to do that. His power is very much in, in, uh, intact. The mindset has to be a free one. I think uh, very well put there uh, by Surya Sesha. I think he, uh, that's a good uh, that's a good uh, pointer over there from him. Uh, Pranav RS has said due to veterans in CSK like Pujara, uh, Raidur and Rayana, does uh, Rudraj Gaikwad find a, a place in the starting eleven despite uh, his brilliant performances last season? Uh, Ruthik. Uh, Rutharaj Raikwad uh, 
certainly has to be there in that 11 because uh, ambati raidu as we saw in the last season i'm not saying he was completely out of form but you know the graph is uh, it's it's going downwards now and we are not sure if he is going to be the same like he was in 2018 or 19 uh, so uh, and again with cheteshwar pujara it's a gamble do definitely as it him to score big and score at 140 or 130 but uh, ruturaj gaikwad uh, gives you that uh, gives you that x factor at the very top so ruturaj gaikwad cannot is, is not someone who needs to be dropped in my opinion uh rahul what do you think about this uh, about this question from uh, pranav ar is that uh, does ruturaj find a place in the squad even uh, 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 even if we consider guys like a pujara raidu and raina being there do you do you think it's a good good option to have him i mean he really earned his position last you know the last three games of um, you know last season and um, Doni Doni spoke spoke about you know needing a spark which became a um a talking point <laughs> became big talking point but um and yeah Rutraj does provide that spark um True. one of the few youngsters that um probably you know have a guaranteed spot at least should have a guaranteed spot in the side i mean i think it's only him and karan so i think he off- he really should be starting in pujara i do one of them raidu and you know, pujara really can't really consider him a starter so guy for the dog top for me um shows that you know youngsters can earn their place with good performances uh udit vikram bisen uh, suggesting a top four of fab uh, duplessis puji raina and pujara uh, raidu i mean uh, very very uh, very, it's too an- too much anchor heavy and that is where another very important question from uh, krik vidya comes in how many anchors should csk have uh, and would you consider raina raidu and pat all as uh, in the same bracket now as anchor players because when india plays because he is elaborate on it when india plays every everyone says they should have just one anchor batsman on them uh, ruthik what do you think i mean it's a, a valid question that's been put put up by uh, krik vidya over here I think the top four should at least have uh, one or two guys who can, you know, uh, score runs at 145. Every team has it. Um, yes. RCB is ABD. Mumbai Indians have Surya Kumar, and um, mm. I, I, I can't really take the, the names of all number threes of all of the teams. But yeah, uh, you. I don't think uh, it's very convenient to have Faf, uh, Faf Raidu and uh, Raina as the top three, or, or in the top four rather. Uh, uh rahul what do you think what what would your uh, uh answer be to this because how how many anchors should csk uh, have in their in their team yeah i mean if you consider um dhoni can play the anchor role um then that's actually you know four anchors i think that's that's way too much with with raina is really tough to know um tough to guess how he'll play um because you know he really hasn't played much cricket since uh, the 2019 final mm-hmm. i mean in fact his last cricket was um the fight t20s in um for uttar pradesh in jan before that he really hadn't played anything since any competitive cricket since uh, the final and um his one 50 plus knock in the sid mustak was 56 not out of 50 balls which uh, is pretty much the anchor role so I, I, it's tough, you know. Um, in previous years, you know, at the peak, Rana, really, Rana could play whatever role. But now, with the lack of game time, it's tough to know. But really, you know, this would only be think two of these, the three names here. Um, yeah, I mean that. That's when they have when you have um the likes of, you know, Karan Jareja. I don't think. There's a need to be too conservative. Sardul Thakur as well. You know they have yes they have some good finishers, so they don't really need to pack the side with anchors. Because I think that's where again Suresh Seshas come uh, come in. CSK had a lot of NPAs on their team last season, uh, and uh, the taking uh, taking it deep tactic from MS is isn't really working now with Karan Jadeja Sardul at six seven eight. 
Dhoni has to bat freely. Even a 10 ball 20 will do. I think we've uh, we've been able to answer that quite well. Uh, then uh, he's once again suggested a, a a very good batting option with uh, uh, order of uh, Rutaraj, Robin, Raina, uh, one of Raina, Raina Raidu, Moin Ali, MSD, Jad, Jadeja, Sam Karan, and Shahrul Thakur, which. Uh, he says gives him enough batting plus uh, talking power. It's a tough one on pair, but they have to. Uh, they need to. They need to slot in both uh, Imran Tahir and uh, Lungi and Giri in the in in the eleven. I think that's quite a again very uh, valid valid pointer there. Uh, then uh, there is a uh, pretty important, uh, very interesting question from uh, Naman Agarwal. Maybe. MS can do uh, Darren Sammy. He plays in the 11, but primarily as a captain and keeper, not not much as a batsman. They have a great team on, on them. They have enough bowling and batting options. MS can come in uh, only when it's uh, uh, required. What do you think, Rahul? I think uh, we are exp experiencing a uh, few issues with Ruthik's connectivity. So, yeah. Rahul, I will we'll take this with you. Um, that, that is that is good. Uh... It's it's a good certainly a good idea and um yeah I mean ultimately if Dhoni will play and he knows he knows what he can bring to the table and but from a captaincy point of view there's really he provides so much value that we really can't quantify so yeah I mean, I mean it is it's tough to say you know he's as he's a captain and he's essentially the franchise the face of CSK. Um, we we can never know, you know, what's going on with Dhoni. Unlike, you know, a Kohli who talks in the press conference, you know, I'm going to open. With Dhoni, we, we we really don't know what he wants to do. So, it's really tough to gauge. Uh, okay, and uh, there's, uh, uh, we've got Shanmugraj Muthuviran, who's actually ca come up with a very interesting uh, uh, question. How do CSK address their death bowling? Because uh, that maybe that would make them uh, dependent on... Dwayne Bravo, who has been struggling with the with his fitness, I mean, consider and uh, dead bowling has in fact been CSK's Achilles heel for quite a while now. And how do they address it? Because Shardul is a good bowler, but I mean, he's not exactly a death was death uh, death was bowler uh, per se. Deepak Chahar is isn't uh, is still uh, trying to find himself as a death was bowler. Lungi and Gidi is supposed to be a death horse bowler but he's been taken around for more than a few runs in the IPL and even for South Africa who is their death bowler and uh, Dwayne Bravo of course he isn't uh, the same Dwayne Bravo as he was who bowls for them in the death um yeah the death bowling uh, does look uh, bad. I mean yeah like Surya says because, uh, yes Deepak Chahar, um yeah he needs to bowl probably a necessity because um um, they don't have a lot of options, and um, maybe the CSK's base, you know, packed the side with six or seven bowling options, and yes. you're not really reliant on um, one or two guys to bowl at the end. Um, but yeah, you know, they, you don't want they don't want to be hamstrung like the game against Delhi when um, they had to bowl. Um, with Jadeja in the in the final yes, over, uh, uh, yeah, they had to uh, uh, bowl Jad Jadeja uh, in the final over. Yeah, and your bowling spin in the final over in T20s is just. Uh, and I know they are no choice, but it's you're just asking for <laughs> to be hit. So probably probably Chahar, unless they they can find uh, someone in the as a replacement for Hazelwood. Uh, 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 and that's where I think Kodit Vikram Bissen has uh, chipped in. Uh, I would get in Mitch McLennigan as a Josh Hazelwood, uh, Josh Hazelwood replacement, considering that Mumbai is their home ground for the first five games. Ruthik, what do you think? Because he has addressed this question to you, and there's another question for you from uh, Udit himself. Uh, Udit, once again, what about Bravo? Will he play all the games? I don't really think Bravo will play all the games uh, considering his current form because uh, if you see, uh, CSK has four or five players who haven't had uh, enough match practice since the last IPL season. That is MS Dhoni, Ambati Raidu, Suresh Raina, Imran Tahir and then Dwayne Bravo. Dwayne Bravo has, uh, did make a return for the West Indies but he uh, did not really uh, show that flair that he had before and was uh, clearly struggling with uh, re really bowling this uh, full quota of four overs. So... I, I'm not really uh, 
confident about Rahul getting to play all the games. Uh, you know, keeping his fitness in uh, fit, uh, as the main concern, and also uh, his inability to uh, bowl one thirties in the fourth over of that game because his speed really dips down as 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 it was seen in the West Indies uh, or the Sri Lanka series and the T Twenty series where he was not really able to bowl uh, as, uh, as he did in the first three overs of the game. Uh, and uh, do you think uh, he uh, Udit has again suggest, uh, has suggested that if uh, would Mitch McLennigan be a, a decent replacement for Josh Hazel considering they played uh, CSK played their first five games in uh, Mumbai? Well, uh, that is the problem. CSK played their first five games uh, in Mumbai, and then if you really want McLennigan right now, uh, you I am not sure if they can just get him tomorrow on that flight to to Mumbai. <laughs> Uh, I, uh, I think we are experiencing a few technical issues with uh, Ruth Extreme. Uh, Rahul, uh, I'll take this question to you. Uh, what do you think? Does uh, is McLennigan a decent enough replacement option for uh, Josh Hazelwood? Yeah, he would be. But uh, you know, like Ruthik was saying, uh, I don't think you can get him on the flight tomorrow, and with the quarantine period. That I don't know. He probably missed, you know, one or two games, and it's, it's certainly an option. But I really think they'll just go with uh, Will Joan as the in-house option. Uh, you've got you've got a point there, and uh, in fact, uh, Pranav Pranav Aras has once again uh, come back, and he's uh, said that in all fairness, CSK is bowling last year was uh, better than mo- uh, most other teams like uh, KKR, Rajasthan, and uh, uh, RC, even RCB. So, uh, is it their batting that had let let uh, let them down for uh, in the previous year? What do you think, Rahul? I think we've seen. I mean, last year, yeah, it was it was the batting that uh, um, they would they chase. You know, most of the games they chose the field, or you know they were they were put into ball first, and uh, they just approach in the chases was just you know not there was not, not enough intent. Except for the the Punjab chase, you know, when they won with ten wickets and yes, pretty much the outlier. But you know, I I don't they they batted um they chased you know the first seven games. Uh, yes, with, um, a pretty I, I don't know if, you know it's just it's a strange streak that your first seven games of the season you don't bat first even once and uh, maybe that yeah. could have asked some of the problems. Um, but yeah, you know, yeah, it is true that their batting was, and I think they do have better options than um, last season. And I think someone mentioned that they have a they have a better team than that the one that won in twenty eighteen, which is true. Yes, I think um, yes, I think this is a uh, that's a pointer we we've, uh, we've gotten from uh, I think Kaushik uh, Kaushik Kashyap uh, made that uh, point. In fact, that they have a better. A uh, team than uh, the uh, than the 2018 season, and I think that may just be of a help to them. Uh, so uh, Surya Sesha with our with the uh, issues around death bowling, Surya Sesha has again suggested if Sam Karan can step up in the death overs, it would help CSK considering the lion-hearted mindset he has uh, to do uh, with the, all the do the tough jobs for his team. I think he's. Uh, I think he was their uh, best player of the last season. Do you think Sam Curran is that option? Uh, is their death bowling option now? Yeah, I, I think he'd be an option too, and he's probably the more long-term re- replacement for Ben Bravo. Um, yes, and I think uh, he's anyway set for a big pay pay rise uh, next season when um, he's surely one of the three players uh, CSK retain. Um, yes, which means nine point five nine crores, eleven crores. So. And he really does fit the CSK. Um, I don't know what it is, but he does have that uh, that CSK um, vibe around about about him. <laughs> so I think I think yeah, uh, he, he'll I I feel he'll he's gonna have he's gonna have a big role in this season. Uh, I think you're right. I think uh, uh, Sam Curran's uh, if Sam Curran performs this way uh, this season again for uh, Chennai Super Kings, they would be in for a, a, be- a much better season. Uh, Naman Agarwal has uh, chipped in with a question: Why does uh, Afghanistan's Kais Ahmed not get picked in the IPL? He's been exceptional whenever he's 
uh, wherever he's played in the CPL, uh, Sri Lanka Premier League, the Big Bash uh, League and all. Maybe CSK can look at him as a backup for Imran Tahir. Uh, what do you think? I mean, long term, uh, does somebody like Kais Ahmed become the, uh, should be the lead leg spinner? Um, I mean, I think it's the same question that uh, English, English uh, fans ask about Adil Rashid. Yes. Um, <laughs> It's just that India India produce enough like spinners to go around all eight franchises. So yes, um, I I don't unless you know you're a Rashid Khan, um, leg spin is not you know the ma- major concern to fill amongst the eight foreign players. So it's nothing to do about Kai Samad's quality right now. He's may might be an option you know, when um the franchise is reset next year and there's more flexibility for you no know, teams to go. Um, um, so yeah, I mean, even like someone like Sandeep Lamichani doesn't get games. Uh, so I think it's just about, um, supply and demand. And, you know, uh, that's, that's something that, um, you know, in this, some English journalists, I see, they don't really get the point about Rashid. It's not that he's not good enough for IPL. It's that he's not a priority for any franchise. I think you're right. I think we. Uh, I think you've got a point there. So now I'll come down to the discussion about uh, CSK's playing eleven. What What is the playing eleven they should uh, bring out for the season, and what should be the strategy that sh- they should be employing uh, for them? Uh, Rahul, I'll come. Uh, I'll take your playing eleven first. What do you think uh, their should their playing eleven should be, uh, and what is uh, and your justification for whichever player in sl- in slots uh, you're putting in them in. Yeah, so um, initially I had um, Faf opening, but now I changed my mind. So it'd be Gaikwad and Utapa opening, mm-hmm. uh, which uh, I think we justified. Um, Raina, Raina, um, Moin at four, I think would be um, give them more flexibility. Then you can either have Dhoni at four or Moin. Um, so yeah, Moin. Um, a lot depends on Bravo, I feel. Um, if I feel if he's fit, he does get game time because CSK do back their their experienced you no know, players and Bravo is one of the long term CSK guys. So I feel if Bravo's fit, he slots in. So then Dhoni, Bravo, Karan, Jadeja, Thakur, Chahar, and um, I had Thahir, but it really depends on whether. Either Tahir or um, Ingiri depends on you know the pitch conditions. Um, I think you've got a point there. I think Odit Vikram Bisen has uh, pointed it uh, pointed out. He's uh, made a prediction. Uthappa will have a very good season, just like Raidu had in 2018. Uh, hopefully he does because I think if he has a good season and if he can make uh, himself count in, in the games he gets, I think it will do CSK a lot of good because uh, as we mentioned, I think his the uh, introduction opens uh, makes them a lot more flexible in their option and he's once again asked utapa uh, opener or uh, or in the middle order do you open with utapa or do you put him in the middle Are you open um middle order they don't really need to have him in the middle order um so yeah they open with him his returns have been you know much better when he opened compared to he had some he's had some really um big struggles playing in the middle order for um, you know Rajasthan and KKR I think um 19 so mm-hmm. yeah open with him uh, because even Crick with has uh, said Utapa is only useful as an opener else he cannot be in the team I think it's a very very valid point from him uh, again Surya Sesha said agree uh, he agrees with your side with uh, uh, with the only uh, with the exception being uh, Ingidi and Tahir being in place of Bravo. As far yeah. as the batting lineup, it's it's quite perfect. Uh, yeah. Udit Vikram Bissen has uh, chipped in. Uh, Robin Pfaff, uh, Raina right. Raidu, uh, Dhoni Jadeja, Karan, Krishnapa Gautam, uh, Thakur Chahar and Tahir. Uh, interesting lineup. I mean, you've uh, dropped one of their most uh, uh, pr- uh, uh, promising players of last season in uh Ruturaj Gaikwad, who probably was their breakout star alongside Sam Karan. Uh, I think it's a very interesting, but a very and even that face bowling line, uh, his face bowling lineup looks a little too weak on paper. 
with yeah. Thakur Chahar and uh, Sam Curran, I think they have to somehow slot in Engidi because otherwise this pace attack will be taken for runs. Uh, mm-hmm. Shanmugaraj uh, Muthuviran again, he's uh, he seems to be very very much a fan of Raidu. Uh, Raidu, mm-hmm. Raidu, he's commented in his uh, stream. I think uh, it's quite a uh, so uh, for me. I mean, in, if if I go uh, thinking about CSK is eleven, I think uh, I think you like you said, I think they have to go in uh, for the. Uh, uh, Sake of flexibility, they have to give uh, Robin with uh, uh, the opening slot alongside uh, Rutaraj Gaikwad. They have to put uh, and Raina back in at three. Uh, one of M- MSD or uh, maybe uh, uh, Moin Ali comes in at four. But uh, how much, how much, effect, uh, how effective Moin will be at four is a question mark because I mean you, you can uh, you uh, he is. Somebody who's a lot better towards the end overs, uh, but uh, but I think somebody had uh, quite, uh, pointed out that he's uh, uh, Surya himself had pointed out that he's uh, he's somebody who can take the game away from in the middle overs against the spinners. So maybe Mohin at four, Dhoni at five, uh, Jadeja and Karan at six, seven, Thakur eight, Chahar nine, Lungi and Gidi has to play, and I think uh, they will. Uh, they might need to. Uh, sl- they can slot in uh, Imran Tahir or maybe Khan Sharma. I think because there's somebody uh, in the comments who uh, who said Udit again uh, saying why have they still retained Khan Sharma and will he play above uh, Jaddu and Gautam? I think uh, Nasi again. Um, I don't know about Gautam because uh, usually you would not have him starting, but it's a lot of money to be playing for a bench player. True. Uh, even though, like, okay, it's it's not a long term investment. So, but at the same time, nine point two five crores for a bench player means it's a bit weird. So that's the only reason I would have him above Khan. But if they want a leg spinner, um, then yeah, they they can go with Khan Sharma and not have Tahir. Uh, Shanmugaraj Muthuviran really he seems to be a Raidu op uh, op man. Uh, Raidu is a fighter. If they can't find a place for him in the middle order, uh, play, uh, he replaces uh, Gaikwad up top. Sorry for uh, uh, he's sorry for Gaikwad, but let's not uh, scrap Raidu, please, for another 3D player. Uh, very, he's uh, taking in multiple jives at, uh, through this comment, and I think we like that. I mean, we want it to be as no holds barred as possible. Uh, so I think, yeah, I mean, Raidu, I think we'll have to uh, find, uh, I think they will have to somehow, somehow uh, find a slot for uh, Raidu. And if it has to be, it cannot be at the cost of Gaikwad, in my opinion, because I think uh, he is that one player in their uh, top three who really gives them that uh, firepower start. And uh, and if the only player they can uh, think of replacing Raidu is with Uttapai. If they if they are serious on making Raidu uh, give the uh, uh, slotting at the top of the order, so I think that's uh, that's the thing. Uh, okay, so now we come on to predictions, predictions, predictions time. And so where do you think uh, CSK? Where do CSK stand for you at the end of the IPL? Because uh, we have our good uh, friend again, Crick, with their saying CSK can't really make it to the playoffs. Do you agree? A second season in a row, no playoffs, because on, uh, he's yeah. built up on it, saying CSK's qualification dreams are really dependent on super performances from their players. They're really not good enough on paper. Interesting, interesting comments uh, there from him. So, what do you think, Rahul? Do they make I, it? Yeah. I agree that on paper you cannot have them qualifying, but um, CSK are uh, and until last season. Even when um, they were they were not really given a shout in 2018, and after the, after that season, I realized it is futile to discount uh, CSK. But this is just going on, you know, past record, and um, there's there's a point when you know these players are all now older. There's a point when they won't be able to you know do the same miracles as they used to do. But it still still feels wrong to to discount CSK of a playoff shot. Just, it just feels wrong from. <laughs> it's a, you're right. I think uh, even Surya Sesha uh, said uh, CSK's season depends on how they select their eleven. In all honesty, they have a better team than the than the one they lifted the cup with in 2018. If they select well, they have they'll have a good season. I think he's uh, I think uh, summed up what we've uh, all spoken of quite well over like, here. I think. I think yeah, they also need. Some luck, you know, like last mm. season. Um, 
chasing seven in a go in a row is pretty uh pretty yeah out of, out of it's, it's not quite tragic blur. yeah it's quite and, tragic i think yeah similarly with rcb you know the last five games they were um, they were batting first these are yes. the weird weird streaks that <laughs> tough tough to explain so they do with like with any side aside from mumbai i think any side do need some some luck, some luck too yeah because uh, pratyush has said last ipl for tala uh, an emotional <laughs> farewell with winning the title perfect trip i think uh, msg without uh, not ending with uh, not bowing out with a, without a perfect script i think it will be too much of a heartbreak for every fan because i think deep down we all uh, love and respect thala a lot i mean and he is uh, he is csk and csk is dhoni so i think it's uh, i think it's uh, i think uh, for all the csk fans out there i think uh, they want to see him uh, bow out on high uh, i mean for them they would not want to uh, want to see him quit i mean like harsha bhogle once said for them he they would still want an 80 year old ms dhoni somehow walking out uh, at the chepok with uh, maybe a walking stick and at in hand and still be able to use it to hit a helicopter shot for six uh, so uh, i mean we are all hoping that uh, csk have a, a good one a good season ahead uh, krik vidya said have a fine row i think uh, i think we uh, <laughs> i think that's a humorous quip over there and uh, you got a the uh, appreciation comment from rajat bector as well uh, lovely lovely insights uh, make these discussions a regular feature uh, thank you rajat uh, uh, we will be making uh, we will be coming out with uh, all these uh, more of these previews uh, through the course of this uh, week before the ipl so uh, rahul thank you so much uh, we are about to uh, hit the 55 we've hit the 55 minute mark over here already and uh, so rahul thank you so much for joining in we uh, we had a very good discussion uh, with you and even to ruthik i mean uh, i think with his technological issues i think we couldn't uh, have him hanging on for uh, for a long time but uh, for he added quite quite a lot of discussion and uh, uh, we uh, and to all the all the uh, people who were on the live comments thank you so much we've been able to uh, give a lot more depth and uh, to our discussion over here shanmugaraj muthuviran close out close out kal koi mujhe yaad kare kyun koi mujhe yaad kare mashroof zamana mere liye kaun waqt apna barbaad kare ms dhoni uh, i think uh, we we had him uh, we had shanmugaraj transform into a shire over here and we like we like uh, uh, co- uh, comments of all variety over here so thank you so much uh, raman kosta uh, ruthik dave op uh, we will communicate the same to ruthik uh, we, <laughs> we, uh, he, he was quite good and krik vidya also saying uh, 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 krik vidya also saying great chat uh, keep it up thank you so much krik vidya your uh, comments are quite uh, valuable for us uh, thank you so much for that suresh esha loads of insightful insight uh looking forward to uh, the remaining teams uh thank you so much we uh, surya we will uh, we'll want to have you uh, join in on the comment stream regularly because uh, you seem to be quite enthusiastic so thank you to everybody who was on the comments uh, we ap- appreciate your comments because it's helped us uh, uh, give a lot more uh, depth to our discussion over here today and thank you to rahul uh, again a fabulous uh, fabulous uh, think always to have you on on board and to ruthik as well i mean we uh, for whatever time we had with him uh, he added a lot of lot of honesty and uh, uh, fire to our discussion over here so thank you so much and to all the csk fans uh, keep hoping keep praying uh, keep loving your team always uh, because if you support the team in the good times you have to support them in the bad so uh, hoping for a good good season with them uh, for them and uh, let's uh, we will uh, 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 close close out our stream over here so uh, please uh, so to all the people uh, follow rahul on on his social social channels uh, follow m tag on the website uh, hit the like button on their youtube video uh, subscribe it share it around around uh, follow them on twitter uh, facebook as well as on instagram so uh, we'll keep on keep out churning some good quality content over there and uh, we will be back with another uh, uh, ipl preview uh, in uh, tomorrow as well so uh, stay tuned everyone and we will uh, hopefully we w- we have uh, a lot of you joining us t- uh, tomorrow as well with your comments so thank you so much rahul thank you so much ruthik and uh, uh, thank you so much everyone we we've, uh, we've had a good discussion today so uh, is it is it whistle polu time this time around rahul do we end up end up with the whistle polu <laughs> sure <laughs> Okay thank you so much thank you so much everyone for joining in uh, good night and thank you so much